All right, and now for our second video in this whole random sampling stuff, uh, something, once again, we did not get any chance to even begin to think about in, in our course um, on Friday. And so I wanted to look at, here in this short video uh, in random sampling, I wanted to look at just one way that we can pick uh, a random sample using a random number table. Random number table and uh, we will always have random number tables available there's there's one in our textbook this is actually in our textbook and I I printed it out um, on a sheet of paper like this uh, and you see there's just digits everywhere and then there's lines and essentially the way uh, theoretically the way something like this is made is um, basically you, you it's like uh, you you randomly select one digit at a time so if we look at this random number table you see like the first digit is one that was kind of neat um well, what they did is they took all the numbers from zero to nine and uh for every single number here they randomly picked uh one of those numbers how did they do that i'm not entirely sure they could have used a computer actually our calculators have random number generators though actually the calculator random number generator is really just based on uh on a random number table um, but there's there's all sorts of cool mechanisms for doing that but this table itself was generated by randomly picking a digit from from zero to nine uh, for every single digit you see here so they randomly picked the digit they got a one first they randomly picked the digit they got a nine they randomly picked the digit they got a two randomly picked the two randomly picked the three and so on and then all the way through and we have uh, eight rows or, or, of or excuse me eight columns of five numbers per uh, column and uh, and then if you look all these these rows the rows go from 101 to uh, 150 so I guess that would be um, 50 rows altogether a whole lot of random numbers here 40 times 50 is what like I don't know uh, a big number uh, yeah but so we have all these random numbers and what we can do is we can use this random digit table in a very simple way to try to pick a, a, a random sample of anything um, there's two simple steps to do that how do we use this random number table well I, I, I started throwing some names down here I don't know why these are the names I just happen to pick them but um fuck. Uh, so anyway I, I picked these names and um, and so how would we use a random number table it's kind of intuitive there's two simple steps um, two steps the first step is that we would have to assign a number to all of uh, the names in our list like so for instance um, right now I only have eight names right so I could assign Amy one Bob two Carl three David four Evie five Frank six Gina seven and Harriet eight of course notice I put this little dot 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 here because I was thinking maybe this would continue out for every letter in the alphabet notice I was just going up A B C D and so on etc and so on so let's say there was 26 names here all together right uh, step one is to number uh, the population right um, now we need to number them in some kind of uh, useful way and, and and we we have to pay careful attention to the number of digits right because as uh, the, uh, uh, we, we have a larger and larger population we have to think about how many digits are required to number that population so for instance if I was only gonna have um, uh, one through eight right uh, then it would be sufficient to just use one digit uh, to, to pick my random numbers, right? But if I'm going to use 26, 26 has two digits, right? And so, for instance, uh, I'm going to right here, this blue is trash. Uh, let's go for orange. Orange is better. Uh, so pay attention to the digits, right? To how many digits we're going to deal with. So for instance, if I had the number uh, the number uh, one through eight, that there's only one digit there, one digit there. And so I could just use uh, one digit. You always want to really use the smaller number of digits possible. Um, but if, if I had something different, like say um, one through 26, oh, notice that 26 has two digits. So what I'm going to have to do is change one into a two digit number. How do I do that? Oh, I put a zero in front of it. Right there we go. There's, I've got a zero one to stand for one. In this case, I'm going to use two digits right and so if i thought of amy bob carl david all these people i'm going to number them um, using two digits so amy would be zero one bob would be zero two carl would be zero three david would be zero four 
EV05, 06, 07, and 08, and so on, all the way up to, I don't know, say, <laughs> Zach. Um, Zach, who would be uh, uh, 26, all right? And now, uh, the, the next step here would be to then go to our digit table. So I'm going to um, choose a line. Which line do you choose? Uh, well, you're not always going to use the same one. You could try to randomly pick a line, or you could just, I don't know, just pick one. It that ultimately doesn't matter. The numbers are already random. It doesn't really matter what line you pick. Just don't go and make a choice in advance. Um, just, so just, just pick a line. Uh, so choose a line, right? And you will... Uh, read the uh, the numbers according to the number of digits that you identified that are necessary. So for instance, uh, here it looks like we'd have to look at two digits at a time. And so what you want to do is you want to uh, r read uh, read um, numbers uh, by groups of digits of whatever size that you was appropriate in your scenario so for instance let's say i just happen to pick um line 120 i don't know why there it is right there and so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start picking this is a terrible line but it's all right um i'm going to start picking numbers that are two digit numbers um and i'm gonna i, I want all the numbers that go somewhere from 0, 01 to 26 and those will be people that i sample so first look there's 35 um, that's that that number is not useful for me. I'm not picking anyone because no one in my list is is number 35. There is no 35th letter of the alphabet. Um, it, it only goes up to 26. So 35 uh, ends up getting rejected. And then I have 47, which ends up also getting rejected. And then I have six and I'll go all the way over here to 65 um, and that gets rejected. And then 59 gets rejected and 72 gets rejected and 39 gets rejected and 42 gets rejected ah but check it out i got my first one this one six this is 16 that becomes my first number that i pick right so i'm going to read uh the numbers by groups of digits but i'm only going to count um the the sets of digits that actually work for my scenario so i will count um uh any uh, sets in my um, range, right? Only in the range of uh, of the the the, the uh, population um, that I uh, that I numbered here, right? And uh, I'm gonna, only going to count the ones. I'll reject any of them that don't fall in there because the numbers are too big. But then second, um, I, I'm also just as a, as a thing as, as I'm going to skip any repeats. So ever so often, you will end up repeating yourself before you have enough people. I didn't really define how many people I wanted sample altogether, right? Uh, you'd have to you know, kind of decide that in advance. Let's say if I, I wanted five people picked out of the 26 names I would have here, we'll have to repeat this process until I got five names. So, so far, um, I only have one. Um, I have 16, right? Now you can't even see that. Let me see if I can move this down just a little bit. There's 16, right? I have 16. And let me keep going. 16, then I have uh, 58. That's trash. 50, that's trash. Oh! 04 is my next number. So I have 16, and then I have 04. So 04, which ends up being um, our buddy David right there. Oh, yeah, he gets to be part of the sample, right? And then I could have to go a couple more times. And you guys basically get the idea. I'm just going to stop doing this in a second. But there's 04. 26 is out. Uh, 63 is out. 54 is out. 35 is out. 43 is out. 74 is out. Oh, 21. Blackjack. All right. So 21 gets to be part of my sample. I see the 21 right there. 2, 1, 21. So that would be the third uh, person in my random sample and, and it just continues on like that so this this little mechanism could be used for any type of random sampling it doesn't have to be directly to the individuals like it might be in us doing a, an SRS um, it also could be used if these were clusters and we were randomly picking clusters we could have used this random um, number table to do that um, later on in our course when we're talking about 
uh, experimental design and we're assigning people randomly to treatments. We can be picking people in the same kind of way to be assigned to a particular treatment group. Um, uh, this would even be used in stratified once I, I separate my population to say men and women or whatever heck the strata are, uh, I can pick people like this. So this random number table is very, very easy. Um, it's very cheap. Uh, it's just a big piece of paper, doesn't cost any money, and yet it still uh, helps uh, satisfy our demands for randomness when we're picking uh, our samples so that we have a nice representative uh, variation in our sample as compared to the population. So there you go. Hope this was helpful and uh, peace and love to you always. Uh, adios.